last week working on a architectural elevation to submit to the city I realized I needed a keynote block or something to start annotating my elevation properly so I remembered about a friend who wrote Dandy and he said hey do a dynamic block for keynotes with line visible and leader line invisible well I recorded this video for him as well as for you so instead of creating a dynamic block I realized a multi-leader might be the best choice to achieve this keynote annotation so what I did was I created a multi-leader style but I didn't start it from scratch because you never should do that there gotta be already a multi-leader style on this drawing and I tried to find out so what I did is I typed M leader style and I realized that there indeed there was a standard multi-leader here from AutoCAD and I modified it this to create my new keynote so what I did is selecting the style standard I set new and then I renamed my new keynote so I'll simply say keynote and hexagon and then I click continue I didn't check the annotated properties because at the architecture office where I worked they don't like to use these annotative objects to avoid issues because there, are not, there aren't many people that are used to use them so I didn't check that and then I just said continue and here in this multi-leader style dialog box what I did is go here on content and then instead of saying multi-leader multi -leader type and text I changed it to block and then as you can see in the preview this is not the block the hexagon block that I was looking for so what I did is I changed the source block to hexagon once I did that I went to the next tab which is the leader structure here everything looked right to me and then I keep or proceeded to go to the leader format and in this case what I did was change the side of the arrowhead to something that fits the standards for my office in this case um, if I open really quick the scale factor that we use for AutoCAD I can show you here that we use a imperial units and here is for architecture so notes would be placed at 330 seconds of an inch at one inch equals an inch so this is what I used when I created this keynote so you can pick either 330 seconds or 1 8 both will work for you so once I did change the size to again 330 seconds I simply clicked the OK button and then selecting my new keynote I say set current and then I hit close so here the next thing I did was a star or create a multi-leader so what I did is use the M leader command and then what I did was for instance here I have these elevation keynotes says new one inch insulator storefront door so of course I needed to say one to this storefront door so I click here once twice and then 
the tag number in this case would be one and then I clicked OK. Now, as you can see, this was kind of looking really tiny, but let me explain you what happened here. So what I did was select my multi leader and went to the property palette. And here, what I did was change the overall scale following my scale chart that I showed you previously. So for instance, at 330 seconds for notes, I needed to know my viewport scale that I was using on my AutoCAD drawing. So once I selected my viewport, I checked that the scale that I was using was 3 sixteenths of an inch. So knowing that, I went back to the charge scale and following again the 330 seconds, I went back to 3 sixteenths of an inch and then I realized that the notes would be at 6 inches which is 64 factor for the scale. So this is what I used here on the property palette. So what I did is selecting the multi leader, I went to the property palette and here on the overall scale, I set 64. So, and this would be the right size to your specific viewport that you were using. In order to verify this, what I did was copy one of these to the site and simply explode it using the explode command. Once I did that and using the burst command to explode this block, I selected the text and went to the property palette and here checked the height and it was 6 inches and again this confirmed based on my scale chart that 6 inches was the correct height for my notes. So once I knew everything was right, I simply finished my elevation keynotes using uh, this would be number 3 wall. So I simply went here and copy one of the multi leaders over here. I changed it to number 3 in this case because this was a wall pack and simply pointed like so to finally add a insulated storefront system which would be number four over here so I simply copy it like so and change the number really easy like so so finally to uh, create a multi layer without arrow like our friend Dundee was asking line visibles and invisibles I simply copy one of these over here and put it next to this and what I did is simply right click on my multi leader and then what I did was right click on my multi leader and what I did was remove leader option over here by right clicking on it and then simply select this one and press enter like so and to remove to remove a leader from this multi leader you simply have to right click on it and click the <laughs> what I did was simply right click on my multi leader and then I select I selected the option to remove leader and then following the instructions what I did is I selected this leader and then it simply went away so I proceeded to again copy some of these down like so and then finish my elevation keynotes by simply writing the numbers and I was almost there and that's it what do you think about this way of using multi leaders to create keynotes in AutoCAD. Let me know in the comments 
and subscribe for more AutoCAD tutorials.